Hey, sneaky Linux back today. Bit of a cold again. God, it was. We're back today with Linux Mint 12 Lisa release candidate. Now I'm going with GNOME Classic here, as you can see. GNOME Classic. I'm not too fond of GNOME 3.2 personally. Are you? Don't know about you. It's all right, you know. But hey, anyway, we're going with this. Now Linux Mint has been getting better and better all the time. When I first used it many moons ago, I was not impressed, so I didn't really use it. But it's matured enough now to really take the stage over from main band to really, isn't it, really? Because not everybody likes Unity. <clears throat> I mean, I think Unity will get better, but hey, we're doing Linux Mint now. So let's go through it with Linux Mint 12, really is candidate Lisa, here it goes. Applications, what have we got basically? Well, let's have a look. You get accessories. So you get all your archive manager, your press zero, disk burner, all this stuff you would get in Ubuntu anyway, but it's minted. Okay, minted, yeah, you know what I mean? Graphics, you get Gimpy, oh lovely Gimpy, a document viewer, a thumb image viewer, another image viewer, LibreOffice drawer, bearing in mind you get the full LibreOffice suite here, and simple scan. Right. Under internet, you get Firefox as your main browser. I like Firefox. Obviously, you can get whatever one you like, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Pigeon for your internet messaging, okay, Sun Java has started. Thunderbird mail client, yeah, it's got better. It's got all them problems out of the way. Thank God for that. I had some problems with it a while ago, but now it's all hunky dory. X chat for your X chatting things, you know what I'm saying? As I said, Office is full a Libra Office suite. Under others, we have all the other stuff that you would like to see. Okay, so I'll go to, we'll go to the software manager. Okay, so we click on the software manager. I'll have a little bit of a drinkage if you hold on a second. Ooh, water, very nice. And as you can see. It's their own pocket package manager, basically. <clears throat> Very much like a Debian one as well. So, super duper. So, say you didn't want Firefox, okay? I'm just going to show you quickly how to install something else. Okay, so we go to the web. Click this. It's nice and done really nice, isn't it? I thought so, anyway. So, what we want to look for? So, if we scroll down, we we'll scroll down. We could actually type it in, but I'm just being lazy, lazy. Aurora. Okay, we'll have a look at Aurora. Shall we install it? You know what? It's only 7 megabytes to download, so we might as well. You click install, okay, so click install, once my password, there you go, there's my password, and in theory, it should now start downloading, and there it goes, look, 30%, bear in mind, I've got two kids upstairs with Xboxes running, so I'm pretty, pretty, pretty pleased today, so basically just wait for it to download, and it install itself, it's hunky dory. Not everybody likes Aurora. It was really good when it first came out, and then it went bang for a bit. So we'll see what it's like in a second, shall we? It might go bang again. Who knows? Okay, all downloaded. It's going to start installing. Dum da dum da dum da dum 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 da dum da dum da dum da dum dum dum. You know what? While that's doing, we'll go to the other box and have another look round, shall we? So anyway, where was we? We was down or other, weren't we? So we're doing our software manager. You've got your startup applications, all your stuff there. The update manager, I'm completely updated here because it's installed. An upload manager, your welcome screen. You know what it looks like. It's the welcome screen. That one there in the middle, look. This bit comes up every time you uh, first log on, basically, unless you don't click the box. <clears throat> you get new features, problems, tutorials, forums, chat rooms. Just click on and go and have a butchers. Pretty cool, I thought. Yeah, yeah it's all right, isn't it? Back to our thing. Are we installed? I had this last time on Linux Mint. It either takes long to install or say, I don't know. I was waiting for something to say installed, but it's still saying not installed. You know what I mean? Okay, we'll go back to other window. Wait for it to do its stuff, eh? Okay, anyway. Sound and video. Banshee is your baby here with Brazira, as I said before. Gnome M player for Gnome M player and stuff for movies and stuff. Not particularly like one myself, but it's there. Another player. Sound recorder, lovely. And VLC media player. Now remember, all your codecs come with Linux Mint, although you might have to get some really weird ones like me. Okay, other system tools, you've got a config editor, the GDB package installer, to install packages that you want to install, your pass statistics, and your system monitor. So if you have a quick look at the system monitor while we're here, as you can see, your core, not doing anything really, is it, when you think about it? No, nothing at all. It's just sitting down doing bugger all. So that's all hunky dory. And it's only using 260 it would be RAM, yeah, so far. If I wasn't doing two things at once, it would be quite a lot less. Okay, let's see if it's done down there, shall we? Still not installed. Right. Now, is it lying to me? It could be, couldn't it? I'm just going to come out of that and just have a look, so see if it has installed anyway. 
Yes, it has. I don't like it when it does that. Do you? No. No. No, 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 no. So, what we're going to do, I'll type in BBC here. That's better. Nice and quick. Lovely. So, don't worry about Aurora if you do download it and you get that. It's just because it's the wrong thing in the search bar, really. So, hey. So, yeah, one little problem that I had last time with Linux Mint, that is that it doesn't come up and say installed when you're waiting. Okay, now as I said before, this is the known classic. Now there's also one called Mate, okay, which is really known to ish. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna log off, log back in and show you Mate, Matey boy. Sneak to Linux, back in a second. There you go, I'm back again, as I say, but now we're in Mate, which is basically known to a fork of now, there are some problems with it, okay? I'm not going to lie to you, but I've not had any. But other people have reported it. So, basically, you get your menu down the bottom here. It is really, 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 really quick when you're using it, okay? That's one bit I like about it. And some of you older users who used to like GNOME 2 and want it, it's badly, 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 you don't like GNOME 3 or Unity or KDE, is also going to like this. It's really, really nice. As I said before, we've gone through all these before, so you know what they look like, but I just thought I'd show you, you know, just show you what it's all like. Go down to System, we have Preferences, look at that, Welcome Screen, we've done all that before, and Administration. Oops, that's all split up here, how it used to be. I forgot to tell you, you also get Synaptic Package Manager, I mean, I do like it. As much as I like other distros, it is growing on me, okay? It is growing on me, but not growing on me enough to use it for me personally. Anyway, about Mate, we'll show you. There you go, Mate is, also includes a complete development platform application program, blah, 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 blah. So should we go to the website and see what it's like? Yeah, go ahead, let's have a look. Go straight to the website and see what it looks like. When it decides to load up. Okay, that's all it is. Okay. I'm not going to bother doing that, you know. No, no, I was looking for something better than that, really. Should we have a look at that? No, nah, I'm not going to do that. I was expecting something a bit better, wouldn't you? Yeah. So anyway, Linux Mint 12. It's very, very minty, and I quite like it. And you get the option of whatever desktop you like, gnome-wise, if you know what I mean. So yeah, you know what? I'm going to give it five out of bleeding five. Sneaky Linux out. Well done, Clem and the boys. Bye-bye.